Greetings, Andres here from the Bronx of New York City. Thank you all for tuning into my boring video channel. If you're watching on YouTube, click on the subscribe button there on the right of the screen, the bottom right there, and uh, click subscribe. Remember, I'm not looking for subscribers. And my objective is to get everyone healthy, not to gain subscribers. I don't want you guys missing any of my boring health videos. I do not monetize my channel with ads. However, YouTube is starting to insert ads on my videos, especially in the beginning of the videos. Unfortunately, I cannot control that. So heads up, it is not me putting ads on my videos. Also, don't forget to click on that little notification bell so when I upload a video, you'll get a notification when I upload a new video. This video is part two of the, of the series, Bronx Citizen Cures His 14 Diseases. Subtitle, The 12 Deadly Foods. This part, this is part two, and it's titled, The 90 Essential Nutrients. I will go over the nutrients I was taking and still taking. I'm still taking those nutrients. I will never stop taking those uh, medical nutrition until I drop dead, of course. Hopefully that's not anytime soon. Okay, I'm going over the supplements, uh, plus uh, how I got rid of my medications within six months, one by one, okay? Sometimes I got rid of four medications in one shot. So stick around. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be an exciting video. Um, I encourage everyone to watch the 12 Deadly Food. It is a four-hour video, yes. It's very long, but I cover all the 12 deadly foods that you should all abstain from immediately. Those 12 foods ruined my health and almost killed me, okay? So, I also cover in that video the vegan diet, why vegans are getting sick after getting on the vegan diet. First, they get healthy, then they get sick, they get very sick. Um, is it the vegan diet? Or is there something else that is getting the vegan sick? I'll cover that and also many other health, you know, health topics in that video. So please, when you get a chance, watch the 12 Deadly Foods by yours truly, the Bronx Citizen. There's another video out there by Dr. Peter Glidden. He has a 21-minute version. However, I cover a little bit more on my video. As you can see, it's 12 hours, 12 hours, excuse me. It's like four hours long. Once again, my name is Andres from the Bronx, the Bronx citizen, the dude from the Bronx who had 14 diseases. I repeat, had 14 diseases, past tense. In this video, I will cover every supplement I took and the dosage I took in order to reverse those 14 diseases. Plus, how I maintain 150,000 ORAC scores every day. What the heck is ORAC? Um, and you're probably asking, what the heck is ORAC? Well, you know, I'll cover that at the, at the end. That's the last topic of this video. How to maintain your ORAC score at 150,000 or higher. That's all coming in this video. I have about 32 bullet points here and a whole bunch of PowerPoint slides. Alrighty, let's begin. Okay, um, if you've seen some of my videos, you you should already know that there are three simple steps for health recovery and to reverse your diseases. I'm going to go through them quickly. Number one, abstain from the 12 deadly foods. You got to get rid of those foods, folks. You got to get rid of them for the rest of your life. They are wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Those are four grains that you got to get rid of. Sorry, that was my cell phone. <laughs> um, so that's wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Oils in a bottle. Uh, oils in salad dressing bottles. Fried foods. Deli meats with sodium nitrates and nitrites. The skin of a baked potato. That includes yams and sweet potatoes. Uh, carbonated drinks. Well done red meats. Genetically modified foods. And non-organic foods. More than half of Americans are eating these foods. More than half of Americans are eating these foods. Hmm, I wonder why more than half of Americans are sick. You think it's the foods that they're eating? Nah, 
It can't be. No, it can't be. Uh, those statistics are just a coincidence. It's just a coinkidinky. It cannot be the foods that you're eating. It's not only the foods that we're eating, ladies and gentlemen. There are other factors as well. But think about it. Half of Americans are sick and half of Americans are eating these foods. So most are eating these foods and don't even realize it. Um, or they know it, but they don't care. They're just going to eat it. They eat it because it tastes so good. It tastes so good. Those foods are awesome, aren't they? <laughs> the fact is, these foods do not get you sick immediately. Okay, You're not going to notice the ailments or symptoms until years later when you start getting sick. And even then, it wouldn't even cross your mind that it's the foods that you're eating that's making you sick. You have been eating these foods so long, for so long, that you will say, it can't be the foods I'm eating, that, which is the reason why I'm sick. I didn't get sick before, then um, it can't be the foods, okay? Then you hear the myth, and I'm sure you heard this myth, you're getting old, that's why you're sick. You're getting old, baby. <laughs> Your body starts to fall apart when you get old. That's another myth. Did you know that the 12 deadly foods that you're eating shortens your lifespan? The average uh, longevity in America, the, li the average lifespan in America, it's 70 to 75 years old. The citizens of the greatest country on the planet dies by the age of 70, despite all the technology that we have. Life expectancy is getting shorter. It's getting shorter and shorter. Have you ever asked a friend, um, how did your mom die? How did your dad die? How did your cousin die? Okay, no one dies of old age anymore. You know that? No one dies. They would normally say they died of diabetes, uh, pneumonia, asthma, cancer, plane crash, a car crash. No one hardly ever says they died of old age. How many people do you know died healthy? You know anybody who died healthy? No. Some, it's always a disease. Always a disease. I started getting sick in my 30s, actually at the age of five. I was in and I was in and out in the hospital at the age of five, and of course all the way throughout, like maybe 15 years old. My asthma actually improved just a little bit. Then it got worse in my 20s. It started to get worse. Then I graduated with arthritis in my 30s, and then I got promoted uh, in my 40s with prostatitis, hypertension, cancer, diabetes, uh, to be exact. Um, prostate cancer, okay? And the list goes on, folks. The list goes on and on. Maybe it's true. Um, I was getting old, and this is what happens when you get old, you get sick. Maybe that's what happened. Folks, get rid of the 12 foods, okay? Get rid of the 12 foods now. Not tomorrow, not next week, now before it's too late. Number two, the second step for health recovery in the health recovery process. Right after the 15 days when you abstain from the 12 deadly foods, your digestive system is about to, uh, it's about almost fixed and it's ready to absorb nutrients uh, that your body needs. That's the second reason why you are sick. Your body is deficient in nutrients. And it's incapable of absorbing nutrients because you're eating the bad foods. Plus, your digestive system has been damaged from all the foods you have been eating. After getting rid of all that crap, your digestive system is ready for the second step. And that is taking the 90 essential nutrients every day. I mean it, every day. You need to fill up your body. You must now supplement the 90 essential nutrients every day. I will discuss the 90 essential nutrients in this video and how to properly dose those nutrients. So stay tuned, folks. I have a lot to cover. And number three, the last step in the healing process is to maintain 
an ORAC score of 150,000 or higher. I always say the higher, the better. You need to boost your immune system and keep it boosted and healthy. If you have a weak immune system, you will constantly get sick, especially with the flu-like symptoms, including fever, constant coughing, achy body. That was me, ladies and gentlemen. That was me. <laughs> Every other week, I was constantly sick. I kid you not. I kid you not. Coughing, then comes the headaches, then uh, uh, then the fever, and then the asthma kicks in, and then two weeks later, it starts all over again. It's, it's, a, it's a vicious cycle. It's a vicious cycle. It was flipping horrible. It was horrible. Every time my friends or family member would call me, they would say, man, every time I call you, you're always sick. <laughs> That's because every time they call me, it's always the week I'm sick. They don't call me on the week I'm feeling better. <laughs> Folks, when you're constantly sick, that is an indication that your body is breaking down. You're not paying attention to your body. My body was shutting down, and it was almost, that's it. I was going to go, man, just call the uh, funeral director. Folks, again, if you are constantly getting sick, you got a problem, okay? And it could be not only your immune system, it could be a whole bunch, a whole bunch of things. Everyone, my body system was damaged. I kid you not, my immune system was damaged. My respiratory system was damaged. My circulatory, uh, circulatory, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> the nervous system, the skeletal system, I was, I was in bad shape, folks. I was really in bad shape. Eat foods that are high in ORAC. I will also cover that in this video at the end. Um, this video is maybe about four hours long in length. I'm only kidding. I'm going to try and keep it short. It depends how much I will rant, okay? I will keep the ranting to a minimal. But sometimes I can't help myself because some people piss me off. I'm going to rant anyway. Darn you, Disney, for ruining Star Wars. I hope all the cast members and crew members uh, from The Last Jedi will overdose on vitamin D. Darn you, Disney. Okay, I got that out of the way. <laughs> got that out of my system. I'm sorry about that. Back to the 90th century nutrients. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to try and keep the video uh, about 90 minutes, hopefully, in about 90 minutes. Before I go through step number two, which is how I reverse my diseases with medical nutrition, with the 90th century nutrients, I got to give you guys this disclaimer. Okay, let me read this disclaimer. I got to read it verbatim. Hold on a second. Once again, my PowerPoint is slow. Come on, PowerPoint crap. Let's go. Uh, um, actually, it's not PowerPoint. I have a crappy $200 Hewitt Packard PC with a crappy processor. You know what PC stands for? A piece of crap. That's what PC stands for. Piece of caca. I should have purchased a Commodore 64. Would have been better. All right, here we go. About time. Here we go. The information here that I'm about to present and the medical nutritional supplements are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. The material presented here is for informational purposes only. Nutri Warriors and its distributors do not claim to treat, cure, prevent, or mitigate any disease or illness. We use science-based, clinically verified, holistic nutrition to support and promote the structure and function of the body. All statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. Although I, Andres, have reversed practically all of my diseases, the information presented here is my personal opinion only, and it should not be taken as medical advice. So with that being said, let's begin. On May 1st, that was about a year and a half ago today, uh, that's when I began abstaining from the 12 deadly foods. This is the first step. Step one in the health recovery process, like I stated um, minutes ago, you got to get rid of the 12 deadly foods. You have to clean the body out of all that crap that you have been eating since you were born. It wasn't your fault. 
ladies and gentlemen, this was not your fault that you were eating those 12 foods. Your mom and dad and grandma and grandpa, um, they've been feeding you all that crap. And they thought it was healthy, okay? They were told that those foods were safe, healthy, and then they passed it down to you. Do you remember the slogan, part of a complete breakfast? Do you remember that? Remember that slogan? That slogan was the end of most uh, most of the cereal commercials back in the 80s. That's how they ended their commercial. Part of a complete breakfast or part of this complete breakfast. And they showed um, a glass of orange juice, the bowl of cereal that was advertised, that was being advertised right next to the glass of orange juice, some toast, okay, some toast. All the food groups are in there, all the food groups, okay, and, and what have you. <laughs> and you said, I got to get those Cocoa Puffs for my children. My children's breakfast is not complete without Cocoa Puffs. And again, it's not your fault, mom and dad, you have been had by the cereal industry. Now you know why you and your children are sick. You listen to the food companies telling you it's nutritious. It helps build muscles. It's part of a complete breakfast. <laughs> Get rid of those cereals, mom and dad, and you too. Those of you who are eating those cereal, get rid of them. Okay, your child will have issues by the time they reach their teens or their young adulthood, like myself. At the age of uh, 30, I started, I started getting sick. Actually, by 20, my asthma was getting worse, okay? On June 1st, 2017, 30 days, that's about 30 days after abstaining the 12 deadly foods, I began the 90th Essential Nutrients. Dr. Joe Wallach, naturopath, veterinarian, agriculturist, farmer when he was a young boy, uh, this man studied it all. He practiced what he studied for years. He applied it to his life. Uh, whatever he learned, he applied it to his life. He was the go-to guy. He's the go-to guy. For, uh, he was the person that you go to. Uh, zoo zoologists used to go to him and farmers. They would come up to him with a dead animal saying, Hey, Doc, uh, my farm animals are dropping like flies. Uh, something is going on with my, with my uh, farm animal animals. Uh, they're dying. They're freaking dying. What the heck is going on with my animals? Um... He didn't even have to perform the autopsy. Just by looking at the animal, he can actually tell what killed him. Um, that's how good he is. That's how good he is. All he's got to do is look at the animal. The animals died from, a, from several nutritional deficiencies. He still had to perform the, the autopsy. He still had to perform it. He conducted over 26,000 autopsy, including in humans. I believe 3,000 in humans, and the rest were in animals. He came up with a theory. If the animals are deficient in nutrients, then we humans may be deficient as well. And sure enough, that's, that was correct. His theory was correct. Most diseases are caused by a nutritional deficiency or deficiencies. He discovered that the body requires 90 essential nutrients. Now, that was a short story. It's a little longer than that. Visit NutriWarriors.org uh, for more information on Dr. Joe Wallach. The fact is that we are all deficient in nutrients, especially minerals, which the body cannot produce. Um, how do we all become uh, deficient in nutrients? How did we all become deficient in nutrients? Well, the answer is simple. We're eating the foods that are low in nutrients because of modern agriculture and farming. I don't have time to cover all the chemicals that the farmers are spraying on the foods, uh, which is poison. Uh, the soil is also depleted of nutrients because of those chemicals. Uh, they're killing the organism that feeds the minerals and the plants, and therefore our crops are not getting the nutrients we need. This also includes animal products, okay? That's why farmers have to feed nutritional pellets to the animals. And Eureka, the farm animals became healthy and they stopped dying. 
Well, they didn't stop dying. They stopped getting sick and dying. They still die when they get older or when they're taken to the slaughterhouse. Okay, they're still dying. <laughs> so that's number one. The foods that we're eating are depleted uh, of nutrients. And number two, we are eating the bad foods. Double whammy. Okay, think about that. Double whammy. This is why diseases are showing up quicker than before. You wake up one morning, bang, you got a diabetes. Just when you wake up in the morning, whoop, bang, what, what happened? How come, I, how come I'm diabetic all of a sudden? Children are now getting diseases that adults get. Arthritis, diabetes, cancer. Why? Because when the body is very deficient in nutrients, it gets sicker quicker. You like that? That rhymes. It gets sicker quicker when you are deficient in nutrients. Thanks to Dr. Joe Wallach, he has given us the 90th century nutrients that we need every day in several packs. I'm going to go through some of those packs, okay? We go through, we go through, um, I'll, I'll go through them. I'll go through. The medical industry calls this guy a quack, okay? This man should be given the Congressional Medal of Honor or a Nobel Peace Prize, okay? They should stop calling this guy a quack. He knows what he's talking about. Also, another reason why we are deficient in nutrients, people are doing a lot of strenuous activity that is depleting the amount of nutrients that's in their body, what's left, which is very little. Activities like um, jogging, aerobics, playing sports, uh, bike riding, sex. Did you know sex depletes your nutritional tank? Ah, that's why I take 90 nutrients every day. <laughs> I keep my body full of, of the 90. Plus, I don't want to die while I'm having sex, okay? There is a, uh, there is a supplement I took uh, because I had, um, you, know, um, you know, a problem down there. <laughs> I had a pee-pee problem, okay? You know, penile erectile dysfunction. Gentlemen, you have, if you have a little problem down there, um, I have a solution for you. You may want to stick around, okay? I have a serious supplement for you guys, and it isn't Viagra. Incidentally, Viagra is not a supplement, okay? Stay tuned. Um, I'll go over that when I go through my uh, incident, and I'll let you know what it is, okay? By the way, stay away from that stuff, man. That Viagra crap is uh, it's dangerous. That stuff is dangerous. Also, stress, political stress, marital stress, work-related stress, all of that depletes your nutritional tank. Before you know it, your tank is empty, and you're about to hit the danger zone like what happened to me. Diseases will pile up, diseases on top of diseases. Then here come the drugs. Uh, before you know it, you're on 15, 30 medications, okay? You know why people constantly get hungry after eating a meal? Like the next two hours, they're hungry again. You know why that happens? You eat a meal and then two hours later, you're hungry again. Okay. The body is constantly asking for nutrients. So you keep eating and eating and, and you're trying to fill up the nutritional tank. And what are you eating? The bad foods. Okay. Now, now you know why you're getting sicker and sicker and sicker. Your body is really uh, not craving for food. It's craving for nutrients. Fill it up. You got to fill it up. Okay. Uh, the good news is the body, something is going on. I'm gonna, every time I wear a shirt, I'm going to have to check my uh, fabric. This is twice that I'm itchy. The good news is the body, the body has the ability to fix itself, despite what medical doctors say. Okay, I know many allopathic medical doctors do not believe that the body can heal itself. It can if you allow it. Okay, let me ask you this. If you catch a cold, a common cold, and you don't take any remedies, you know, and you let it pass, will it pass? Okay, will you heal without taking any remedies? Yeah, you know, it will take longer, especially if your immune system is weak, but you'll heal. By the way, I haven't caught a cold 
any common cold since I've been taking the 90th century nutrients. Not even a freaking headache, okay? I haven't gotten sick for almost two years. What about asthma? Asthma. Can the body heal from asthma? Oh, no. You're stuck with asthma. You, you get that for, you got that forever like diabetes, okay? <laughs> I read that somewhere on a Facebook page. Somewhere on Facebook. Fortunately, the body can heal from asthma, diabetes, hundreds of illnesses. However, it needs a little help from you. You got to help it. Got to help your body. So what about the 90th century uh, nutrients? And why do we need 90 and not 89, not 70? Why 90? To be exact, 91 nutrients. 90 sounds better. It's a nice rounded off number. Nutrients all to, uh, work all together. Nutrients all work together. They're like a team. Here's one example. In order for calcium and other minerals to absorb effectively in your body, you need vitamin D3. That's why in our calcium supplement, vitamin D3 is included in the bottle and a few other minerals like strontium, or strontium, strontium, excuse me. I have trouble. <laughs> I always have trouble uh, pronouncing some of these uh, nutrients. Uh, strontium is an excellent mineral for those who have osteoporosis. I've seen uh, calcium uh, supplements that do not include strontium, but if they do include strontium, um, it's like 10 milligrams or 10 micrograms, not even a milligram, 10 micrograms per serving. You know, Longevity's OsteoFX liquid formula has 500 micrograms of strontium in the liquid form. So all nutrients work together. So it can effectively absorb in your body. They're, they're a team. They're a group. That's one reason why you need 90, because you don't want to take 90 supplements. It's better to take 90 in one can, two scoops, and you're done for 100 pounds. You don't want to swallow 90 pills. Uh, you don't want to. You don't want to be like, okay, uh, I need to take calcium. Uh, what's the What's the vitamin that I need to take <laughs> in order for calcium to absorb properly in my body? You don't need to do that. Dr. Wallach already did it for you. That's how simple it is. One supplement, and you're fine. There are other supplements we're going to go through. The 90th century nutrients are broken up in, uh, they're broken up into 60 minerals, that's 6 O, 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, 3 fatty acids for a grand total of 91. Minerals um, are, and I'm just going to list a few of them because I can't pronounce all of them. I'm still working on that. You can scroll down and get the list uh, below if you're watching this video on NutriWarriors.org. Uh, calcium. Uh, potassium, magnesium, selenium, very important trace mineral, vanadium, another important trace mineral. They're all important, all of them. They're all important. Chromium, titanium, uh, most of the eum uh, minerals, <laughs> vanadium, selenium, all the eums are in there. Magnesium, copper, zinc, gold, tin, iron, etc., etc. 60 minerals. Vitamins, you know what vitamins are, vitamin A, B, C, D, uh, you know them all. Amino acids include valin, some people pronounce it valine, lysine, methionine, uh, look it up. It's in the list, scroll down, it's in the list. I can't pronounce some of these minerals. Um, I'm just trying to sound intelligent, okay? <laughs> the point is, you need 90 essential nutrients. Also, fatty acids. Don't forget the fatty acids, omega-3, omega-6, and omega-9. Okay. Um, let me explain this. Here's a little analogy. Okay, let me put it to you in this fashion. Your body is like an automobile. Uh, your car, um, if you have a car, the car has systems. Every system in the car must be healthy in order for the car to run normally and optimally. That's the way the car should supposed to run, optimally, right? So is your body. <laughs> the car has systems like the fuel system, the exhaust system, cooling system, lubrication system, electrical system, 
transmission, et cetera, et cetera. Your car, your car can still operate at a, um, if one of the system is slightly damaged, but it will not operate at optimal level. Okay, it's supposed to operate at optimal level, but it can operate if one of the systems are damaged, if the transmission is having issue. The car doesn't have power. Uh, it needs a tune-up. The car is operating, but not optimally. Okay, can the transmission get worse if you don't do anything about it? Yeah, of course. The car will run until it can't no more, or it can't anymore. That's a double negative. It can't anymore. Okay, the car is done. You ignored the problem, so now the problem got worse, and bang, car is dead. The human body also has systems too. Let's go back to biology 101. Remember biology 101 in junior high school? Uh, the body systems were the immune system, the di digestive system, respiratory system, circulatory system, etc., etc. I forgot the rest. Google it. <laughs> Each system has parts or organs, bladders, and glands. Oh my. Organs, gl uh, bladder, and glands. So each system has certain parts. Should those systems be healthy? Yes, of course. What if the respiratory system is having some slight problems, like the bronchi? If the bronchi is having problems, right, can the body still operate if that part of the respiratory system is slightly damaged? Yeah, your body will operate uh, with the damage, you know, bronchi. However, it's not going to run optimally. You see, that's the problem here. Okay, something is wrong in in the body system, and you're not operating optimally. Okay, you're walking slow uh, uh, because you can't breathe normally. Uh, you can't break dance anymore. Or dance salsa, you can't dance salsa anymore. You can't ride your bicycle, uh, or you can't do the hokey pokey anymore in the bedroom, if you know what I mean. Okay, you're out of breath. You gotta have your asthma inhaler near the night table while you're having sex, right? Does that sound familiar, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, <laughs> you can't have good sex anymore, can ya? I know why. You're getting old. That's what it is. You can't do the hokey pokey anymore. Okay, you're gonna kill yourself. Stop having sex. Okay, you're gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> ninety minerals. I'm not ninety minerals. Ninety nutrients. Okay. <laughs> How do you keep your body system healthy? So the question is, how do you keep all of your body systems healthy? The ninety essential nutrients. They are essential because the body needs them. Just like the car needs raw materials like fuel, water, brake fluid, the human body needs its raw material as well. The more you use the body, right, the more minerals and vitamins, they're all depleting, okay, just like the car. The more you use the car, the, the raw materials depletes also. Same thing. It's amazing that the car is just like the human body. Same thing. So you have to keep filling up your body with the 90 essential nutrients. Your doctor will not tell you that because he or she doesn't know this stuff. They don't know this, okay? The 90 essential nutrients attempts to bring the body back to normal and make you vibrantly healthy. Vibrant, yes. Remember, we don't cure diseases. We don't, uh, we don't treat diseases as well, excuse me. Uh, we attempt a cure by giving the body what it needs to function properly by using clinically verified, high-quality, holistic medical nutrition. We treat the person, not the disease. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go through some of the health pack, okay, that Dr. Wallach created with his company, Longevity, the greatest medical nutrition company on the planet. I'm only going to go through... A few packages. There are many packages. I'm only going to go through some of the popular ones, uh, and you'll get the idea how these packages were formulated. You'll get the idea. Now comes the uh, the exciting part. Okay, 
how I reversed my diseases, and how long did it take each disease to reverse from the point I began taking the medical nutrition on May 1st, 2017, which was almost two years ago. You can visit my medical nutrition store on my website. It will take you directly to my Longevity store, which has all the products you need. Click on medical nutrition right up here, somewhere on the upper right-hand corner, and you'll see medical nutrition. Click on that, right on the top menu bar. I believe it's the last option, all the way on the right. I believe it's there. Uh, you'll see it right around there. So just go to NutriWarriors.org and click on the medical nutrition store. Okay. Uh, one pack is called the Healthy Body Start Pack Liquid 2.0. Wow, long name, long title. Uh, by the way, all healthy body packs okay, contain the 90th century nutrients. All packs include the 90. This one... Um, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna bring out the uh, the nutrients in a few minutes. I'll bring out I'll bring it out. The Healthy Body Start Pack Liquid 2.0 is generally for those who already eat healthy, you know, abstaining from the 12 deadly foods, and you don't have an illness. Okay, this package is for you so you can remain healthy. Can you get this pack if you have an illness? Can you get the Healthy Body uh, Start Pack if you have an illness? Yeah. You know, it can. You can get it if you have an illness, but you will need extra or you need to add additional supplements to support an illness. Okay? Uh, that doesn't sound right, right? Uh, support an illness? <laughs> we don't support illness. We're against them. <laughs> we're, tr we're trying to get rid of them. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I got to come up with another name for that. So you need extra supplements if you have a certain illness, if you're going to buy the healthy Body Start Pack Liquid 2.0. This is the package that I take now. I take this package with a couple of extra supplements that I still need because I have one more illness. Um, let's go through this package, okay? First, um, once again, this is called the Healthy Body Start Pack Liquid, okay? The first item is the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. 2.0 peach fusion. This is the one that has eight, about 88 nutrients all in this canister, 88. And they are in high quality. I'm talking gluten-free, non-GMO, non-synthetic, all natural. That's why it works. Okay. This is the juice. This is the juice. I'll talk about dosage in a few. Okay. So that's part of the Healthy Body Start Pack Liquid. The second uh, supplement is Ultimate, is it Ultimate? Yeah, Ultimate EFA Plus. Ultimate EFA Plus. The EFA stands for Essential Fatty Acids. And I just mentioned about maybe three minutes ago, what are, what are, what are the essential fatty acids? Omega-3, Omega-6, and Omega-9. Plus there are other blends in here. This is some good stuff. This is what got rid of my asthma, okay? I was taking 12. I, I dosed 12 for a week. That is essential fatty acid, e, EFA+. Plus. Then the last uh, supplement that's in the package, it's Beyond Osteo FX. People call it the liquid calcium. And uh, this is the liquid version, not the powder. The liquid, that's why this is called the Healthy Body Start Pack. Liquid 2.0. Here it is. That's the 90, the 90 essential nutrients, which is included in all packs. Everybody got that? Okay, I'm going to put that here. I need a bigger, I can't wait till I get a bigger desk. And I start working on my new room because I got to work on my office. I'm working on an office. So that is the 90 essential nutrients in that pack. Let's go with another pack. Let's take a look at another pack, and this one is called the Healthy Bloody Pack. The blood. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, you need this bloody pack. This is called the Healthy Bloody Pack. 
Uh, if you have uh, vampire issues, you know, a blood issue, you're craving for blood, you need this bloody pack. <laughs> you know what? I'm keeping that blooper. <laughs> I'm not hitting that one out. Excuse me. The Healthy Body Blood Sugar Pack. <laughs> Take a wild guess. Take a wild guess. Uh, an un uneducated guess. Who is this package specifically for? <laughs> For those who have a blood sugar problem, right? Not a vampire problem. <laughs> what disease is generally related or associated with blood sugar? Diabetes, okay? <laughs> also, hypoglycemia is another one. So, did I have diabetes? Yep. So, obviously, I need this pack. Okay, so what does this pack contain? Now, Unfortunately, it does not come with the liquid osteo effects. It comes with the powdered version. It still has the Tangy and the EFA Plus, but it comes with the powdered version. Now, you can substitute the osteo effects liquid with the powdered version, okay? But I will have to show you how to do that. That's another, that's another topic and another video, okay? So... What did I say? It includes the 90. This is still the 90 essential nutrients. So you need, there's another supplement that comes with it. And that is Sweeties. Okay. Sweeties. Sweeties is a supplement for uh, blood sugar support. Okay. This has vanadium and chromium, two minerals that helps with blood sugar. Okay. Vanadium and, now, watch this. Vanadium and chromium is in here. Yeah, it's in here. However, when you have an illness, you need to increase certain minerals. You don't want to increase tangy because then if you increase dosage here, you're going to get like 20,000 um, 20, international units of vitamin A and calcium is probably going to go up. Uh, you don't need that. So what you got to do is you increase the vanadium and chromium here. And this is known as the blood and sugar pack, not the bloody pack, the blood and sugar pack. Okay, so let's put that there. And man, do I really need a large uh, table? I need a bigger table or desk. I should say desk. Okay, uh, now let's take a look at one more pack. And this one is called the Healthy Body, Brain, and Heart Pack. As you can guess by the title uh, of this package, it's for brain support, cardiovascular support, and supports many other body systems like the respiratory system, the immune system. Uh, this is one of the most popular packs uh, that many purchase. Hundreds of illnesses can be supported by this one package, including cancer, dementia, asthma, hypertension. Let's take a look at this. Uh, let's take a look at this pack. Now, once again, the powder version, Beyond Osteoid FX, EFA, your, um, your fatty acids, EFA plus. Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, they're all included. Now comes the supplements, the additional supplements that's part of the package. And that is selenium. Selenium, excellent for the immune system and for cancer. Okay, this is what helped me with my prostate cancer, among another. Okay, and there is an extra EFA, uh, essential fatty acid. There's an extra bottle. So it's actually really five, five supplements. I don't have the uh, an extra um, EFA, but you get the idea. This is the brain and heart pack so there it is ladies and gentlemen these are the essential 90 essential 90 nutrients now there are other health packs that are out there there's so many of them there are a whole bunch i can't cover them all um there's also uh bones and joint pack uh that's for of course supporting for the jo uh, support for the bo the bones and uh joints uh, weight loss pack. It's also for those who are overweight, obese, if you will. I can go. I can go. I cannot go through all those packages. 
So you can go online on my longevity store and you can just click on healthy packs and you'll see a list of those packages. Now, I was confused. I was really confused with all these packages when I started May 1st. I was so confused. Which package do I take? There's so many of them. Um, I have 14 diseases, actually 15. I'm, I'm, I reversed 14. I'm still working on one. I had cancer, uh, respiratory condition, so I need the brain and heart pack. Uh, wait, I also had arthritis and chondromalacia. Okay, chondromalacia patali. So I needed the bone and joint pack. Wait. I, I was also obese. I, I was very overweight. I weighed almost 400 pounds. Okay, so I need the weight body, uh, the, the healthy weight body management pack, or as a weight loss. I think it's called the weight loss. Sorry, I forgot the title of the weight management pack. I also had diabetes. I needed the bloody pack, <laughs> the blood and sugar pack. So which one do I take? Gosh darn it. Do I purchase all of them? That's ridiculous. No way. That would be insane. It would be, uh, it would be very expensive. It's bad enough that medical nutrition is already expensive. A lot of this stuff is expensive. So what did I do? How did I come up with a solution to get rid of my 15 diseases? Here's what I did. And you should do this also if you have many diseases like I had. I wrote down my diseases. Actually, I typed them on, on Word, uh, Microsoft Word. On my list, I prioritized the diseases I wanted to get rid of quickly, and I mean quickly. I listed those diseases on top. Everybody got that? You got that? List your diseases and list the top. Prioritize the disease that you want to get rid of quickly, okay? For instance, take a look. Here's my, uh, my list of diseases, okay? Fifteen of them. They're all listed in priority order. And then over here is the package, the pack that supports the disease. Okay, I know that doesn't sound right, but you know what I mean. So you list your diseases and the pack you need. So for example, prostate cancer, I needed the brain and heart pack. Hypertension, the brain and heart pack. Enlarged heart, the brain and heart pack. Asthma, the brain and heart pack. As you can see, I'm leaning toward the brain and heart pack. I told you it's one of the most popular packages. Osteoarthritis. And I don't even think I had osteoarthritis. Arthritis. Uh, I think I was misdiagnosed. You know, I have, I'm not sure, but they said I had osteoarthritis. But anyway, arthritis, bone and joint pack. Acid reflux, heartburn. Digestive pack. Inflammation. That's the basic one, healthy start pack liquid. Um, morbid obesity, the weight management pack. Digestive disorder, the digestive pack. Chondromalacia, which is a cartilage problem, uh, joints, the bone and joint pack. Depression, brain and heart pack. Anxiety, brain and heart pack. Sciatica, bone and joint pack. <laughs> And, of course, penile erectile dysfunction. All you really needed was the healthy start pack plus an extra supplement. Talk about that supplement in a few. So, you see, this is what you should do. List your diseases, okay, and prioritize the one that you want to get rid of quickly, okay? Okay, now I knew, okay, now I knew, I'll put this over here. I knew that I needed the brain and heart pack to get rid of at least the top four illnesses on my list. This pack, again, supports the cardiovascular uh, system. I had an enlarged heart chamber, uh, probably from my chronic hypertension. Uh, it also supports the respiratory system. I did have asthma. Um, it also helps with cancer, uh, but I needed an extra supplement for my prostate cancer. We'll talk about that in a few so this is the perfect package for me. In fact, it helped almost half of my diseases, the brain and heart pack. Now, I know what you're saying. <laughs> what about the rest of your diseases, Andres? Are you going to keep your diabetes, your arthritis, your penile erectile dysfunction? Um, of course not. I'm not going to keep those. I want to get rid of them too. <laughs> so... Um, 
I want to get rid of some of these uh, diseases. So what do I got to do? So this is easy, folks. This is easy. All you have to do is add supplements that are not part of the brain and heart pack. You just add it to the pack. Okay. For instance, the blood sugar pack, right? has a supplement for blood sugar support. Do you remember which su uh, supplement uh, supports blood sugar? What was the supplement? Sweeties. So you throw that on top of the, God, the body. What was the package that I went, that I went for? I can't believe I, I, I freaking forgot. The brain and heart pack. You throw sweeties on top of the brain and heart pack. I'm going to need some more nutrients for my head, <laughs> for my brains. <laughs> okay. So you see, you get it. I had to add the sweeties on top of that package. Um, you can get those supplements a la carte. You can get any of this a la carte. If you just want to buy EFA plus, that's fine. You can buy that. You just want to buy sweeties. That's fine. They're all a la carte. You can get them all at a la carte. Also, I needed another supplement for my hypertension. Uh, support my um, my uh, high blood pressure uh, and blood circulation. My hypertension was out of control, so I really needed this supplement called Ultimate Daily Classic. Here it is, Ultimate Daily Classic. This is great for brain function. Definitely, I needed that. I should buy some more of this, <laughs> and supports the cardiovascular health as well. Um, it's not part of any pack. Um, it's you got to buy it separately. Okay. Uh, since my hypertension was really bad and I had an enlarged heart, I needed that big time. I needed that supplement big time. Uh, you know, doctors couldn't find out why uh, my hypertension was out of control. Uh, they did exams after exams, echograms, uh, EKG, whatever you call that, you name it, MRIs, PEP scans. Uh, they could not find anything, not even with my kidneys. Uh, they checked my kidneys, blood circulation, arteries. They checked it all. Nothing. They couldn't find anything. Um, I found out it was a deficiency in calcium, magnesium, and vitamin D. That's all it was. So I started taking that. I, I increased the vitamin D and my calcium and bingo. Okay. That took care of my <laughs> hypertension. For my prostatitis, um, I needed another supplement for my prostate issue, and it's called Prost FX. I still take it. Ultimate Prost FX. It's for the prostate health, as you can tell by the prefix Prost, right? Gentlemen, and I will get to you ladies later in a few minutes. Gentlemen, if you are 30 years old or older, you need to start taking this supplement every day, regardless if you don't have a prostate issue. It's coming, gentlemen. It is coming. It, um, it happened actually during my 30s is when I began having prostate issues. And um, I was having trouble urinating. It was, it was horrible. I ignored it. I ignored it. You know what happens when you ignore your diseases? They get worse and worse. You know me, you know uh, we men, right? You know us. Uh, we don't go to the doctor until we're dying. <laughs> Women go to the doctors eh, for every little thing. Oh, my God, I got a pimple in my face. Uh, I better go to the doctor. <laughs> we men, we wait until our entire body is filled with pimples. Then we go to the doctor. <laughs> we need to stop doing that, guys. <laughs> We men wait until the disease gets worse. Then we say, I think I got a problem. <laughs> by 45, by the age of 45, my prostate was the size of two walnuts. Okay? It's supposed to be the size of a walnut. Okay? Technically, it was one and a half. It wasn't really double size. My prostate practically almost doubled. Could have been if I kept ignoring it, right? Prostatitis is no jokes. <laughs> It's no joke, gentlemen. Okay, very uncomfortable. This is this bad boy right here contains uh, saw pal palmetto fruit, pumpkin seed, uh, horse tail, a whole bunch of propriety blends are in this. Good freaking stuff. Okay, thank you, Dr. Joe Wallach, for prostate for prostate effects, ultimate prostate effects, right here, gentlemen. 
one bottle per month per 100 pounds. So if you weigh 300 pounds, you need three bottles per month. I was taking three bottles per month because I weighed 330 pounds. Um, now I take the maintenance dose. Uh, the maintenance dose is just one bottle. I'll talk about the difference between the maintenance dose and the therapeutic dose, okay? Also, gentlemen, there's one more uh, supplement. I don't have it here. Uh, there is one more supplement called Zera Test. Zera Test. X-E-R-A-T-E-S-T, -E -E okay? Um, I don't take it anymore, um, and I don't have it here either. Um I take it sometimes, you know, like maybe three consecutive months. Um, if I'm having problems in the bedroom, okay, I'll start taking it again immediately. Zera test is for male hormonal support, okay? Uh, practically, um, is, um, practically, it's for the testosterone sex hormone. Hence the name Zera test. That last part test is for testosterone, okay? Um, but it supports also, it supports also other hormones as well. Yeah, there's, there's like what, 40 or 50 hormones uh, in the human body, okay? But primarily it's really the uh, testosterone. It helps with the testosterone. Visit my medical nutrition store. Go to NutriWarriors.org and click on the top menu. Once again, medical nutrition, that will take you to my longevity store. Search in the store for Zera Test Ultimate and also Ultimate Prostate, Ultimate Prost FX. Now, ladies, I didn't forget you have a little problem there with hot flashes, early menopause, uh, low libido, uh, you're not in the mood, you have a headache, not tonight, honey, I have a headache, uh, your kids, um, your kids, you know, well, you'll be having kids once you take this supplement. <laughs> You have a headache, not tonight, honey. You're having all kinds of female issues. Uh, there is a supplement that we have. It's called Zera Femme. Um, I don't have the bottle because I don't take that supplement. Okay, I take Zera Test. <laughs> Zera Femme, which is X E R A F E M, Femme, female, um, supports female hormones, um, particularly estrogen. Okay. They, helps out with the estrogen. Don't forget the 90 essential nutrients. That is the flagship. Uh, that is a must. Okay, remember 90 for life. Consequently, uh, you can't take any of these medical nutritions for life. You can't, if you can afford it. You can take all of this uh, every day for the rest of your life. Again, if you can afford it. Now, there's another thing you men and women need to do, okay? This is going to sound crazy, unorthodox, uh, because what you have been told, there's something you have been told. It is a myth. You have been told many myths, and this myth is one of the myths that is making everyone sick. It's called the cholesterol myth. If you weigh between 100 pounds and 200 pounds, it is recommended by Dr. Joe Wallach that you eat eight to 10 eggs a day. You heard that correctly, <laughs> eight to 10 eggs a day. I know I'm loco in the cabeza. I am loco in the cabeza. The Bronx citizen lost his marbles. He's gone crazy. Folks, you need to increase your cholesterol. If your liver makes the steroids cholesterol, then obviously your body needs it. Make sense? Huh? Make sense? Why does your liver produce cholesterol? Ever ask yourself that? Maybe you didn't know that your liver made cholesterol, but it does. It produces cholesterol. Why does the liver make cholesterol? What part of the body needs cholesterol? Are you ready for it? Your myelin. Your myelin up here, your myelin right in your brain, which is the white matter of the brain, uh, which is 95% by weight, cholesterol, okay? If the myelin doesn't have enough cholesterol up here, here comes dementia, primarily Alzheimer's. Your sex hormones and other 
hormones are made from cholesterol. Oh my, 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 my. If you lower your cholesterol, here comes the pee pee problem, gentlemen. Penile erectile dysfunction, low libido, etc., etc. I keep my cholesterol between 200 and 300 as recommended by Dr. Wallet. And even some medical doctors recommend it <laughs> as well. Forget LDL, forget HDL, forget PCP, LSD, forget all that crap. Medical studies are now claiming, and they were and they claimed this way back, almost like 10, 15 years ago, that lowering your cholesterol is bad, dangerous. The nature paths were saying this years ago. They knew this years ago. Now the medical industry, primarily the allopathic industry, um, is now claiming this. Okay? Thank God for the internet. <laughs> Do your research. Come on. Do you know which medication causes inflammation of the liver so it can stop producing cholesterol? Statin drugs, okay? The, the, the drugs that lower cholesterol. Do you think that's a bad thing? I'm no doctor, but I've read studies and articles and watched many medical lectures about the dangers of lowering cholesterol and liver disorders, okay? When you lower your cholesterol, and, and not only when you lower your cholesterol, when your liver, um, is, when these drugs causes inflammation, there are problems, okay? When you alter the physiology of the, of the human body, that's when you start having problems. Ever wonder why when you see your doctor, he or she wants blood work constantly, especially if you're on a statin drug? He's checking your liver to see if there are any problems there in the drug, you know, any problem that the drug is causing, Okay. They know, folks, that the drug causes liver issue, and they, yet they still give it to you. <laughs> By the way, eggs should be cooked soft, mushy, scrambled. Not dry scrambled. You can also cook them soft boil, hard boil. Uh, um, sorry, not hard boil. Soft boil. Uh, poached is good. and Or raw. You can eat it raw. <laughs> Okay, uh, I, I can't stand raw eggs. It's nasty. I tried it. It's freaking nasty. Uh, you can eat eggs. Uh, hey, if you can eat raw eggs like Rocky Balboa, okay, knock yourself out. <laughs> if you can eat raw eggs, the yolk should be liquidy, you know, very liquidy. Check this out, folks. You're going to love this, especially if you're overweight. If you eat 10 eggs a day, you're going to eat less because of the protein in the egg. Uh, not to mention that you're taking the 90th century nutrients. All of that is filling up the body. That's the trick for losing weight. Take the nine, 90 eggs. 90 eggs. No, not 90 eggs. <laughs> the 90 nutrients and the 10 eggs every day. Every day. I know that's a bitter pill to swallow. But trust me, ladies and gentlemen. It works. You're going to love it. <laughs> also, eat the skin of the chicken, okay, turkey. Um, eat the skin like our ancestors did. Don't peel off the skin. Uh, they didn't do it, so don't you do it. Okay, they knew what they were doing. Our ancestors knew how to eat. Uh, here's uh, one way that you can eat 10 eggs a day. Here, there are many ways, but this is one way. This is one of the ways I do it. First, make sure... The eggs are cage-free. No injected hormone, artificial hormones. Um, if you can't find vegetarian-fed hen eggs, do it. Try and find vegetarian-fed hens eggs. You'll see it on the carton. It'll say vegetarian-fed um, hens. You want good quality eggs in your system. Okay, this is one way I ate 10 eggs. And remember, there are many ways. For breakfast... I ate five eggs, soft boiled or soft scrambled or poached, uh, whichever mood I'm in, whichever mood. If I make them mushy, scrambled, I love to throw some cheddar cheese, some shredded cheddar cheese, organic cheddar, uh, cheddar cheese uh, on my scrambled eggs. Uh, extra sharp. It's the best. Organic extra sharp. For lunch, I make a uh, dark chocolate fudge organic milkshake. Dark chocolate. Why dark chocolate and not milk chocolate? We'll talk about ORAC in a few.
Okay, ORAC scores. Increase your ORAC. I use this dark chocolate protein whey. Or whey. Do you say whey or is it whey? I think it's whey. <laughs> expensive stuff. I buy the expensive stuff. I get the good stuff. I don't want bad stuff in, in my system anymore. I mix it with organic almond milk. Unsweetened. The chocolate is already sweet. Why almond milk? Why use almond milk? Again, because of the ORAC. I'm keeping my ORAC score high. Okay? Almond is also rich, very rich in um, antioxidants, which is high ORAC. It has like 5,000 ORAC per 100 gram, which is, I think, 1.1 or 1.2 cups. Very high in ORAC score. That's the only time I eat raw eggs. I also throw it in the in the milk, you know, in the shake. Two of them. I put two and I mix it up. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Um, I call that shake Orac Dark Chocolate Milkshake Blaster. <laughs> Orac Dark Chocolate Milkshake Blaster. How many eggs is that so far? How many did I put together? That's seven between breakfast and lunch. Now all I need is three eggs for dinner. Okay, I will eat the three eggs as an appetizer for dinner. Um, if I ate them scrambled for breakfast, then eh, for dinner, I'll soft boil them. And guess what? You're going to eat less for dinner because you're taking the 90 nutrients and you're full of eggs. Okay? Also, cook with organic butter or lard like our ancestors did. I prefer cooking it with butter. Irish cream butter is awesome. I love that stuff. Gentlemen and ladies, wait for about 30 days. You may feel it less than that, okay? And don't forget, gentlemen, Ultimate Prost FX, okay? And Zero Test. Ladies, don't forget Zero Fam and wait. Be patient. Oh, and don't forget your 90 essential nutrients. Woo! I'll say no more, okay? Next, let's continue. Uh, what about my arthritis? Okay, and my chondromalacia. Well, that is the bone and joint disorder, right? That's a bone and joint disorder. In the bone and joint pack, there is a supplement called, uh, where is it? Oh, I don't have it here with me. I'm so, oh, it's in the kitchen. Sorry about that. Um, it's called glucogel, ultimate glucogel, which supports the bones and cartilage, which is the problem that I have, chondromalacia disorder. It also supports ligaments, tendons, connective tissues, uh, and, w and what have you, everything. It has everything in there. It, it also took care of my sciatica. Whoa. Yes. Careful. Glucogel has shellfish. If you're allergic to shellfish, uh, you need to get an alternate, uh, uh, an alternate product. You can contact me. I'll let you know what's the alternate product for the uh, bone and joints, okay? So I threw in glucogel in the brain and heart pack. What about my weight issue? The weight loss pack includes something called Slender Rev. Uh, it's a fat burner. Um, it drops, um, it's drops, you know, drops that goes into your mouth, under your tongue. Um, I don't have that bottle. I purchased it years ago. Years and a half ago when I started my medical uh, nutrition, it's a great product, but freaking expensive. It's not expensive. It's freaking expensive. I purchased it twice, then I stopped. Um, I noticed I was eating less with the 10 eggs a day. I probably would have lost uh, weight faster um, if I continue uh, because it's a fat burner, but it was also too expensive. Um, in fact, all of these medical nutrition supplements are expensive. I had to budget. I actually had to budget. I had to get rid of cable TV and my Wi-Fi at home. Uh, I went back to the traditional antenna. You know, the free local channel, Rabbit Indoor Antenna. How we used to watch TV back in the days before uh, cable TV. Um, local TV only. That saved me like about $300 a month. Okay? So sometimes we have to budget. Uh, what's more important, my health or cable TV? Of course, my health. So I got rid of cable TV. Now I got it back. I actually got it back uh, because I went back to work. After I got rid of all my diseases, I went back to work. Now I can afford uh, cable TV. 
For my prostate cancer, I added a bottle called Z Radical. I don't have it with me. It's in the back room in the bag back there. If I open that door, uh, this room will freeze. It's like 10 degrees here in the Bronx. I do not want to open that door. I will freeze to death in this room. Z Radical supports the immune system and also the cardiovascular system. Remember, I had asthma and enlarged heart and cancer. I stopped taking it after the oncologist told me uh, my prostate cancer was gone. Um, I was taking it for like five months. I think it was about five months. And after that, gone. I don't take it anymore. Now, um, I will take it, for example, um, if I start traveling again, you know, in airports uh, or I'm constantly outside and smelling carbon monoxide, all those free radicals are getting into my body. Um, I will buy that again. Okay, it depends. And finally, what about my digestive issue, heartburn and diarrhea as well? That's the digestive pack. So I added to my supplement something called Ultimate Enzymes. Uh, th that's another supplement that comes with the digestive pack, Ult um, Ultimate Enzyme. And there's another there's another supplement in the digestive pack called Ultimate Flora FX. However, my digestive system was repairing itself. Um, my heartburn was getting better. So I needed only Ultimate Enzymes. I didn't get Ultimate Flora FX. Plus, I knew my body was absorbing nutrients anyway when I was taking them. How did I know the nutrients were absorbing my body? My diseases were going away. Hello. <laughs> And uh, also, I felt it. I'll talk about how I felt when I took all of these nutrients. My diseases were going away. Also, if you do not have an appendix or a gallbladder, which are part of the digestive system, you need ultimate enzymes. This contains, uh, this contains bile, which helps metabolism of fat. It helps digest fat. The gallbladder stores bile that is produced by the liver. Another thing that the liver produces, bile is transported from the liver into the gallbladder. The gallbladder stores it until it is needed, until the digestion process begins, so it can help break down fat in foods, okay? Ooh, baby, see what happens when you study and you do a lot of reading? <laughs> so if you don't have an appendix or a gallbladder, uh, you need to take ultimate enzymes. That's very important. Another awesome supplement. Here's another bit of pill to swallow. Another medical myth that is getting people sick. You need to start salting your foods. Okay, that's right. Salt is an important mineral that strengthens your stomach acid and digestive system. Don't get that crappy salt like Morton and Red Cross. Okay, I prefer Himalayan, uh, Himalayan salt. Good stuff. A little expensive uh, because it contains a lot of nutrients and it's natural. Okay, salt also helps get rid of heartburn and that, you know, acid reflux. Okay, that's how I got rid of my heartburn. I started salting my foods. And I know what you're gonna say, but Andres, what about high blood pressure? <laughs> Do your research. Uh, <laughs> that's another that's another myth. Okay, Do your research. Um, it's the crappy salt that's actually making, um, that's causing problems with your arteries, okay? It's the crappy salt. Um, also, if you swell up when, you're, uh, when you eat salt or your legs swell up uh, when you eat salt, you may have a low blood protein uh, count, a low blood protein. Eat 10 eggs a day and get that cholesterol and protein into your body. That's all you got to do, okay? Okay. Um, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. That covers all of the medical nutrition I was taking for my illnesses. Now, how did I dose all of these supplements? How the heck does one dose all these supplements uh, every day? How do you supplement for all these every day? First, you need to know the difference between maintenance dosage and therapeutic dosage. The maintenance dose is the dose that's written on the bottle. That's called the maintenance dose. You follow the direction of the bottle. 
If the direction of the bottle take states, take one a day or one after every meal, then that's the maintenance dose. You follow the maintenance dose on the bottle. That is to maintain your health. Think about it this way. Maintenance dose maintains your health. Okay? Maintenance dose maintains your health. Okay? Now, if you have some sort of illness, whatever it is, you take the therapeutic dose. Uh, you'll notice on the bottle, it'll say uh, something like, take two capsules daily or as directed by your healthcare professional. Dr. Waller created these supplements, so I'm going to follow his therapeutic dose. He goes by weight, the weight. Now, someone always in my health uh, recovery class uh, raises their hand and always says, can you give me an example of a therapeutic dose? I'm going to get to that. Put your hand down. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to dose the therapeutic dose. Here is an example. Let's take Prostefx. This Prostefx, yeah. The Prostefx. So, if you weigh 100 pounds, remember, uh, almost 99% of longevity medical nutrition are measured by 100 pounds of body weight. Okay, that's why we always say, take one bottle per 100 pounds per month. So, if you weigh 100 pounds. This whole bottle should last you for 30 days, one month, and we work with 30 days. Not 28, not 29, 30, and not 31 either, okay? Then you have to get another bottle of Ultimate Prost FX the next month, okay? This bottle has 60 capsules. All 60 capsules should last you for a month, 30 days. Now comes your math skills. If this bottle has 60 capsules, how many capsules a 100-pound person should take? Got the answer? The answer is two. Two capsules per day per 100 pounds. Okay? So, gentlemen, if you weigh 300 pounds, how many capsules of prostate, prostate, prost FX should you take if you weigh 300 pounds? The answer is six cap uh, capsules. And therefore, you need three bottles if you weigh 300 pounds per month. Get it? Okay? Now, I know what you're thinking. Someone in my class always asks as well, what if you weigh 299 pounds? Okay? How much is the therapeutic, the therapeutic dose if you weigh 299 pounds? Oh, that's complicated, man. You have to take the square root of the weight of the bottle, then multiply that by pi, which is 3.14159, then divide that number into the number of capsules in the bottle. That's level two of this class. You're jumping ahead. Stop that, okay? <laughs> I love teasing my participants. <laughs> they love it, too. <laughs> we have a lot of fun in our health recovery class here in the Bronx. Just round it off, folks, to the nearest 100. That's it. If you weigh 250 uh, pounds, those for 300, if you can afford it. If not, those for 200 pounds. Guys, it's not rocket science. This is easy. This is very easy. By the way, I say that a lot, right? By the way, <laughs> by the way, don't you dare do a therapeutic dose with another supplement besides Longevity's brand. Or Longevity's partners. You can do dosage with Longevity partner. Not with that stuff that they sell in the stores. Okay? That stuff that they sell in the store is genetically modified, non-organic, synthetic, which is the reason why it's, some of them don't work. Okay? Stick with Joe Wallach, Dr. Joe Wallach, excuse me. Um, Dr. Joe Wallach's Longevity brand. Okay? It works and it's safe. Okay? It's natural. They don't, he doesn't put crap in his stuff. I bought a bottle of selenium at a local supermarket, and it contained wheat uh, and a few other fillers. Why the heck are you going? Why the heck would these companies, these supplement companies, put wheat in their in their supplements? I don't get that. You know, that's junk. Come on. Okay. 
Here's how I dose for 330 pounds. Round it off, 300 pounds. Okay, I was going to dose 400, but it was too expensive. Way too expensive for 400 pounds. Okay, Tangy Tangerine. The Tangy Tangerine juice, this is the powder. I took six scoops daily. And off you go. Six scoops daily. It does come with a scoop. Okay, I mix it with spring water or filter tap water in a 16-ounce sports bottle that I found on the 99-cent store. That's my favorite store, the 99. I go to the 99-cent store first before I start going to Target, Walmart, all these other stores. First, the 99-cent store. I mix it with spring water or filter tap water in 16-ounce, okay? Take it on the road. I take it with me on the road every morning. Now. Six scoops in a single serving can taste too tangy for some people. Break it up. Two scoops for breakfast and three for dinner. Sip it slowly. Do not down it. Don't guzzle it down. Okay? Make it last for an hour. Sip it every five minutes for maximum absorption. If you can, uh, if you can hack it, if you can, you can take the whole sip scoop. Put it all in one. Uh, I would I would put it in 20 ounce to bring down the tanginess. You know, 20 ounce if you're going to put six scoops. If you can hack it, go right ahead. Beyond Osteo FX. Beyond Osteo FX liquid. I took three ounces. It's one ounce per 100 pounds. So I weigh 300 pounds. Um, it's one ounce. Uh, three ounces for 300 pounds. I mixed it with a glass of organic orange juice before going to bed okay it helps you sleep it actually helps uh it helped me sleep a lot you can actually do this you can in the morning mix an ounce with the tangy tangerine in your sports bottle throw an ounce of uh, um osteo fx in there you can you can do that you can do anything you can just don't mix it with beer a carbonated drink alcohol you can mix it whatever you want tomato juice again Get those 90 essential nutrients in your body. I play around. I, I have waves. I'm like, okay, today I'm going to drink uh, the tangy tangerine with coconut water. And I do. I actually, and it tastes awesome. With organic coconut water, you can do anything you want. Just get the 90 in your system. <laughs> get the 90 in your system. I would mix one ounce with the tangy and in, the, in the morning. And at night, I mix the rest, the two ounces with orange juice. Uh, like I said, it tastes great with orange juice, and it helped me sleep as well. Z-Radical, that's another bottle. It actually looks like this. It, it, it looks like this. It's a nice blue bottle, same thing. Okay, Z-Radical, I drank three ounces pure. I didn't mix it with anything. I took one shot glass for breakfast, another, uh, another two for dinner. Total of three ounces. That's it, in a shot glass. Once. And then two for breakfast. Um, heads up. Here's a tip for you guys. Uh, please take your supplements. Uh, 30 minutes. The uh, All your supplements, the pills. 30 minutes before your meal. Take your supplements 30 minutes before your meal. Why? Because it fills you up <laughs> and you'll eat less. Okay? That's another little trick I learned. 30 minutes before your meal, take all your supplements. Except for Tangy, you're going to take that with you. And you're going to sip it slow. And your Osteo FX. Okay? Okay. Ultimate. Ultimate EFA Plus. I took nine gel caps. Look, I even write it there. Three per 100 pounds. So I know I got to take nine. Okay? I write down the how much that you got. And it's funny. It's, it's on the bottle, <laughs> the maintenance dose, which is three, <laughs> three a day. <laughs> but I still write it here because I get confused because I got so many supplements. I'm like, okay, how much do I take of us? Was it 20? Was it 10? <laughs> so I have to write the number on the – and you should do that too, especially when you're starting. Start writing the, the number of, uh, of doses that you got to take. I will put nine here. So um, – I supplemented nine gel caps, three for breakfast, three for lunch, and three for dinner. There was an occasion I actually took for one week, 
a whole seven days, I dosed for 400 pounds. Then I brought it down to 300. I was taking 12 capsules a day. My asthma was really bad. Every day I was taking a sh the, the shot of the inhaler. Uh, it was horrible. Okay. This is one of my favorites. Okay. Took care of my asthma. Um, another one of, uh, of my favorites, sweeties. Sweeties. There you go, sweeties. I was taking 12 caps per day, four for breakfast, four for lunch, and four for dinner. Remember, that's the 300 pounds. I know some people are like, my God, 12? 12? That's nothing. Wait till I tell you the total pills I was taking per day, okay? You're going to have a heart attack. You're going to be like, oh my God, this guy is crazy. <laughs> I hope you're, uh, I hope you're uh, enjoying this because some people are like, that's crazy. Did this guy really take all of that? I'm going to show you a video, if I have time, of one person. His name is uh, Mike, Michael uh, Cohen. He took like 50 supplements in one bowl and went and just took it all in one shot without water, without any liquid. That's nuts. Okay? So this is nothing. This is absolutely nothing. Okay? You're going to have a heart attack when I tell you the number of pills that I was taking. So that was sweeties. I was taking 12, three, uh, four for breakfast, four for lunch, and four for dinner. Ultimate selenium, ultimate selenium, I was taking nine per day, three for breakfast, three for lunch, and three for dinner. You get the idea, okay? That's how I, that's how you divide the dosage. Ultimate daily, with that, that was uh, selenium, where's my selenium? Selenium, bye-bye. Selenium, um, not bye-bye, I still take selenium. Okay, uh, what was the other one? Ultimate Daily Classic. Ultimate Daily Classic. This is the Ultimate Daily Classic. Nine per day I was taking. Nine per day. Okay? Ultimate Glucogel. Don't freak out. This scared the crap out of me when I found out how much I had to take. Okay? 30 capsules per day. <laughs> I had to take 30 caps per day. I divided it into four dosage. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, bedtime. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, bedtime. 10, 10, 10, 10. Sounds like a TV show, right? 10, 10. Or is it a radio program? Eh. Ultimate Prost FX. <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> Ultimate Prost FX. Six caps per day. Remember, I'm dozing for 300 pounds. That's two caps per 100 pounds, six caps per day. Okay, how many pills in total was I taking per day? Nine EFAs plus 12 Sweeties, nine Selenium, nine Ultimate Daily Classics, 30 Glucogels, six Prost FX, and six zero fem. I mean, zero test. Zero fem is for the female. <laughs> for a grand total of 81 pills per day. Holy crap on a gluten free cracker. 81 caps. Folks, this is what happens when you let your diseases get worse. And you allow your body to pile up all of these diseases on top of each other. This is what happens. Don't let your diseases pile up and get worse. It's very expensive. Take a look at all the nutrients I have to take. I had to budget big time to get rid of all of these diseases. Now, let me show you how I took each dose and how long did it take for my diseases to reverse? This is cool. You're going to love this. I want to thank Matthew Cohen for this great idea. He's got a YouTube video. You may want to check him out. Matthew Cohen, C-O-W-A-N. Great idea. Matthew uses these uh, storage units, these storage units that you can buy in the 99-cent store. Check this out. You're going to love this. <clears throat> Take a look at this. 
I wish I can put it up in the screen, but I got a cheap uh, recording software. If you look there, you'll see the storage containers. Okay, these are storage containers that I think you can put like ketchup and uh, mustard or whatever, you know, like some kind of sauce. But I use it for my pills. This is nothing. This was about a year ago um, when I was um, on the 90 for a year. If you would have seen this two years ago when I started, these uh, containers were full to the top. Oh, by the way, there goes uh, zero test. You see, I was on zero. No, that's not zero test. It's right here. This blue. That's zero test, gentlemen. Okay? Got to get that, gentlemen. It's the best. It's the best. Each container represents a meal. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. See? That's about seven days or is it eight days? And then you recycle again. That's how I did it. So when I... When I get up in the morning, I take one. Now I got two left, which is lunch and dinner. Now I had four. Remember, I was dozing um, uh, for 400 pounds with EFAs. So I actually had another one here and also glucogel because I was taking 30 pills, 30 gel caps of glucogel. So you see how easy that is? This is what you should do. Separate them, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So if you have to take nine EFAs, Three for breakfast, and you put three for lunch and three for dinner. And if you have to go uh, to work, if you're working, take these for lunch. Take it with you, okay? That's an excellent idea. Thank you, Michael Cohen, for that great idea. Um, I'm going to tell you the truth. I was very frightened to take 80 pills a day, okay? I was petrified, man. I was a sissy. Okay, I was worse than the cowardly lion from the uh, Wizard of Oz. Okay, I was worse than him. Okay, <laughs> you would be scared too if you got to take 81 pills. You're gonna be like, Oh my god, 81 pills. Um, this photo here, again, like I said, is nothing compared to what it looked like two years ago with 80 pills. Okay, so what did I do? Okay, the first day. May 1st, that's when I started the 90 Essential Nutrients, I dosed for 100 pounds. I only took two scoops of tangy, two seleniums, <laughs> four sweeties. I was dosing according to the to the bottle, right? So I said, nah, I'm not going to take 80 pills. Oh, this is too much. Hold on a second. So um, what I did was the next day, on the 2nd, I dosed for 200 pounds, day two, okay? I got a little courageous, got a little courageous. I took six fatty acids, three for breakfast, three for dinner, four Prostefax, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I dozed for 200 pounds, okay? To my surprise, I was still alive, okay? I didn't drop dead, <laughs> I didn't drop dead. Um, I didn't leave the house either, just in case I got diarrhea from all of this, okay? I could have had a, I could have had an accident uh, in the street, okay? Uh, so you got to be precautious. You got to be precautious, okay? Anyway, I got even more courageous. May 3rd, the third day, I decided I'm going to do it. I'm going to doze for 300 pounds, 81 pills, 90 FA, 30 glucogels, you know, 10 for breakfast, 10 for lunch, etc., etc. I said, all right, I'm going to do it. I'll say a few prayers. And you know me, Padre Pedro Santi. <laughs> so I took it. I dozed it. Well, nothing happened. <laughs> I was still alive. Um, I didn't feel anything. I didn't, I didn't feel any different either. I'm like, eh, you know, I did it again on the fourth day, 300 pounds. And the fifth day, and I kept dozing for 300 pounds. Nothing. Piece of caca. These supplements suck. <laughs> That's what I was saying. It sucks, man. This really sucks. <laughs> On May 10th, I woke up in the morning with a loud yawn. I've never, I never slept so good. <laughs> and, I, and I didn't get up in the middle of the night either. <laughs> Usually I get up like two or three times in the middle of the night. I slept all the way through. 
I woke up and I felt like fighting, uh, not fighting, but wrestling Hulk Hogan. I felt an energy that jumped into my body. I didn't feel sick. I was still sick, you know, with the diseases. I had diseases, but I didn't feel sick. It was like holy crap on a gluten-free cracker. I said to myself, what the heck is in here? What did Dr. Wallach put in here? He must have put a secret uh, sauce in here. I'm like, what is in here? I was checking every, <laughs> every bottle, every supplement. Dr. Wallach is a freaking genius. I don't care what anybody says. He's a freaking genius. So I said, is this is it? Does it get better? Or is this it? Oh, it gets better, ladies and gentlemen. Now the diseases were going away one by one. And my medications were going away. Bye-bye. One by one. Sometimes three or four medications at one time. They were all going away. Little by little, the diseases were, they were going away. Check it out. Here is the list of my diseases now in the order that they reverse and also how long it took for the diseases to go away. Check it out. The first disease that went away was acid reflux, okay? Two weeks after taking the 90th century nutrients. This is all after taking the 90th century nutrients. Two weeks, my acid reflux, reflux gone, heartburn gone. And so were these Tums and my proton pump inhibitors. Okay, bye-bye. That's two, gone. Inflammation. That was about 20 days after the 12. Um, I started taking the, um, when I abstained from the 12 deadly foods, the inflammation was going down. Okay. That was probably the gluten intolerant that I had. Every same, my fingers, my, my uh, um, veins, you can actually see now my veins, um, all the inflammation went away. Asthma, three weeks my asthma was gone. Here's how I noticed that my asthma was gone. I came home one day. This was around maybe June, um, actually um, May, the third week of May when I was on the uh, 90. Um, I came home and I walked up the, the stairs, three flights in order to come up here in the attic, three flights from outside. I came in and I was breathing heavy. I reached for my inhaler, but I stopped myself. I said, hold on a second, wait a minute. I'm just breathing heavy. That's all. I'm just breathing heavy. I'm not tight. I'm not wheezing. Hold on a second. So I said, let me go back downstairs and come back up. I did it again and again. That's all it was. I was just out of breath. And then I said, no, it can't be. It can't be. My asthma probably did not go. I waited actually for the winter uh, when it was very cold in December of 2007. It got very, very cold, and I actually went outside uh, without anything, and that's dangerous, by the way. You should put something in your face. I didn't have anything in my face, and I just walked outside for about 20 minutes. Uh, it was about maybe 15 degrees outside. Then I walked in, nothing. I'm like, oh, my God, it really is gone. In fact, I should have realized it was gone because I didn't use my inhaler for like three months, so I should have known. It's gone. I wasn't using my inhaler. So, ladies and gentlemen, my inhalers, gone. No more. They're all gone. Okay? Digestive disorder, which was like diarrhea in one month, that was gone. Diabetes, in two months, my diabetes was gone. I actually had type 1 diabetes. Uh, here it is. All my diabetic pills, gone. All gone. Okay, prostate cancer and prostatitis, two months for the prostate cancer to go. My oncologist told me within two, uh, it was about two months. It was gone. 
Um, and my prostatitis took six months for my prostate to go back to normal. It practically, practically, it shrunk back to at least a walnut size. And also my PSA, it went from 150 to 2.7. My PSA, it was immaculate. Immaculate. My doctors were like, one of my doctors, the urinologist, was like, how did you do this? That's another story with my urologist. The other doctors didn't care, you know, how I did it. They didn't even ask how I did it. Depression. Um, for depression and anxiety, two months. Um, in fact, I was feeling better about maybe two or three weeks because I was getting excited that all the diseases were going away. So within about three or four weeks, the depression was gone. It was fully gone for two months. And my depression pills... My anti-anxiety pills, gone, gone. Hypertension took four months, hypertension. Ladies and gentlemen, I was on four hypertension pills. Gone. What else? Uh, my enlarged heart in four, uh, about four months. Um, my enlarged heart uh, was back to normal. Uh, my osteoarthritis, gone. Okay. My sciatica, that was about six months. Osteoarthritis, sciatica, gone. Uh, morbid obesity, I still got to lose about maybe uh, 50 more pounds. Uh, and my chondral malaysia, I still have my chondral malaysia. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's 14 out of 15. Gone. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is easy. So how easy I did that? Okay, you got to maintain the discipline. And what that means is you, I'm sorry about that. You have to get rid of the 12 deadly foods. You also have to uh, take your 90 every day. I have never missed a dose since I've been taking it. Every day. No, I think I missed one. I, I went somewhere um, and I forgot to take <laughs> my one of my uh, containers, and I did miss I did miss one dose, just one. But that's not bad. I take it every day, ladies and gentlemen, and also maintain your ORAC score at 150,000 or higher. Keep doing that and wait about maybe 15 or 20 days. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it, baby. I guarantee you. Speaking of 150,000 ORAC score, this is the last topic. Um, ORAC score. This is the last step in the health recovery process. Step one, get rid of the 12 deadly foods. Step two, take your 90 essential nutrients plus additional supplements you may require if you have certain illnesses. And number three, maintain an ORAC score of 150,000 or higher. ORAC stands for Oxygen Radical Absorbance Capacity. It's how antioxidants and foods are, or nutritional supplements are measured in laboratories. They calculate how much the total capacity of antioxidants that's in foods and supplements through ORAC. Okay? What happens when you keep your ORAC scores in at least 150,000 or higher? Or higher? What happens? It gives lots of antioxidants to your immune system, okay? Why is that a good thing? Because your immune system is the army of the body. The immune system is the, uh, the army of the body, okay? You have to feed the army uh, so the army, the army can be strong to fight, to fight the enemy, which is invading your body, germs, free radical, all caused by oxidative damage stress is another one. It fights that, fights all the radicals. Now you know how I dealt with my prostate cancer. I kept my ORAC scores high, okay? That's Dr. Joe Wallach's phrase. I stole it from him. The, your, your, your immune system is your best friend. You got to make sure your immune system is very, very strong. The immune system is your best friend for combating free radicals and germs. 
Dr. Wallach's statement. Check this out. Uh, this supplement, I didn't show you this supplement. This supplement contains 160,000 ORAC scores. Total ORAC score, 160,000. This one is Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the pill version, not the powder. Powder version has 6,000. This one has a total of 160,000 per serving, which is four tablets. Four tablets contain at least 160,000 ORAC scores. So if you have some type of cancer, I highly suggest the tangy pills. Um, I believe all the nutrients that I'm taking now and the foods that I'm eating, all the nutrients that I'm taking and the foods that I'm eating, I am maintaining at least 200,000 ORACs per day. Okay? Right? 2,000 per day. I can't confirm that yet. I got to make a, I have to calculate how much ORAC scores I'm taking a day. I'm sure it's about 200,000 ORAC score. Not all the foods have been measured. Okay? We don't know. We do know some foods have high ORAC score, but they haven't measured all the foods. Okay, here are some foods that we know are high in ORAC scores. Organic ground cinnamon. Um, eats, uh, I eat cinnamon every day. I also put it in my coffee, organic rice pudding. Also gluten-free raisin cinnamon bread. Okay, I love that bread. I eat it with organic cream, cheese. Uh, that's all. That's one of my snacks that I eat when I go to the movies or a ball game. I sneak it in in my bag. Movie theater food is junk. Do not eat that junk. The, the uh, hot dogs, that all has nitrates and nitrites um, and all kinds of uh, the butter that they use. Uh, it's not butter. They actually use uh, some kind of margarine. That's why it, it tastes kind of funny. Some people have said, it tastes good. Ooh, it tastes good. No, that stuff is garbage. Careful. That stuff will clog up your your arteries. Um, it'll get you sick and it'll kill you. By the way, raisins are also high in antioxidants. Uh, most dark fruits are very high in, um, in ORAC score. Red grapes as well, very high in ORAC. Blueberries, especially wild blueberries, that's high in ORAC. Dark chocolate, and you know I love dark chocolate. I love that stuff. Uh, rosemary spice, uh, cook with rosemary spice uh, if you can. Um, oregano, Ginger, black pepper, most spices and herbs have high ORAC. Red wine, it's another one. Not that cheap $2 bottle. Get good wine, okay? A good red wine. You know, like about $10 or more. At least splurge 10 bucks or higher. I mentioned this in one of my videos. Um, this was in one of my videos. I purchased this wine by uh, Catherine Hall. That's the, the name of the brand. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, do you know how much that wine cost, uh, especially when it's aged for two years? $200 a bottle. <laughs> I asked the clerk, do you have one third of a bottle? <laughs> at least eight ounces, at least. <laughs> uh, give me a sip. <laughs> I just want to taste it. I want to know what the hoopla is. For $200 a bottle, I want to live 200 extra years for every dollar that I spent on that wine. I was crying all the way home. Man, $200 for a bunch of crushed <laughs> crushed grapes. <laughs> for a two-year-old crushed grapes. <laughs> I could have made my own wine. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I wanted to impress uh, an old friend, um, an old girlfriend. Uh, we had dinner, you know, so I wanted to... You know, um, impress her with real nice wine. We haven't seen each other for like 30 years. So just dinner. That's what we had. We just had dinner. Okay. We took a sip. And holy crap on a gluten-free cracker. We got blasted on one sip. <laughs> I could feel the antioxidants run into my veins, man. That's how powerful... Uh, that wine was. Make sure it's aged for like two years or longer. Spend a little money. I, I only buy that wine like once every three months. <laughs> That's how expensive it is. 
the longer the aging process, the more it will cost, of course, and the more powerful the wine will be. Gentlemen, Prost FX, zero test, 90 essential nutrients, 10 eggs a day. Ladies, zero fem, 90 nutrients a day, 10 eggs a day. Okay, wait for about 30 days or less. I guarantee you, you'll thank me later. <laughs> anyway. Uh, where was I? Beans. Beans, practically, um, it's the red beans. Uh, red kidney beans uh, are also high in ORAC score. Scroll down to my um, website on the page that you're watching this video. If you are on my website, right below there is a booklet you can download titled Health Recovery 129150 Plan. Get it? Uh, 129150, 12 deadly foods you need to get rid of. 90 essential nutrients you need to take every day for the rest of your life, and maintain an ORAC score of 150,000 or higher. Download that booklet. It's a PDF file. The booklet has a page with a list of foods that contain high ORAC score and the approximate measurements too. You know, one tablespoon of organic cinnamon has uh, 100,000 ORAC score. This the um, the measurements are on that booklet also. Download that booklet. So there it is, folks. That's how I got rid of my diseases. I still have one more to go. Okay. Um, if I can get rid of, you know, if I can get rid of all of my diseases, okay, anybody can do it. Are you calling me an imbecile, Andres? Is that what you're doing? Are you calling me an imbecile, Andres? Well, I don't like, I hate calling anybody an imbecile. I don't like calling anybody an imbecile or an idiot. But if you love your diseases and you love being sick, look at yourself in the mirror and ask the mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the most imbecile of all? You may get an answer. <laughs> you just might get an answer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is not rocket science. This is easy, okay? I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. America is in bad shape. More than half of Americans are sick. Listen to those words. Listen to these words. A sick nation is a weak nation. You hear that? A sick nation is a weak nation. Whoever coined that phrase is correct. I don't want to scare you, but can you imagine of an economic collapse in America? Oh, my God. Everyone who is dependent on a on life-saving drug are doomed. If you depend on a life-saving drug and an economic collapse happens, you are doomed. The insulin shortage has already begun. Next, it will probably, uh, it will probably be asthma meds. Uh, chemo for cancer, there'll be a shortage on that. Kidney dialysis, wow. Okay, it's going to be crazy. I just hope the economic collapse does not happen in my lifetime. Okay, medical nutrition is going bye-bye just like medical drugs. Okay, in fact, medical nutrition may not be around before the economic disaster happens. Okay, the good news is, the good news is you have a chance to get rid of your diseases and your family before all hell breaks loose. Hey, you prepared for Y2K. Remember that? When you when you guys prepare for Y2K, when we all prepare for Y2K, uh, we stored non-perishable foods, we stored candles, flashlights, and what have you. Now you need to fill up and store 90 essential nutrients in your body. You better prepare for this one because it can happen anytime, okay? You don't want to get caught off guard. It can happen right now. No one knows when it's going to hit. What if the economic collapse happens now? Then you're really in trouble because some diseases may take 30 days to six months to reverse, if not longer, okay? Depends how damaged your body is. Okay, so it can take longer. So you're in trouble if it happens right now. 
Don't wait until the disaster happens and don't wait until your disease gets worse and begins piling up. Give your body a fighting chance, okay? Your body is trying to fix itself, but you're hurting it. And it's only a matter of time when the body, your body, is going to say, that's enough. I'm done and I'm going to shut down. And then it's lights out. It's over. It'll be over. You know, one of the problems that Americans, we Americans have, one of the problems that we have, we're too busy paying attention to inconsequential stuff, stuff that's unimportant. Okay? The last Jedi sucked. No, it didn't. Stuff that's unimportant. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Okay? It was the greatest movie of all time. Ghostbusters 2016 sucked. No, it didn't. You sexist, you sexist, anti feminist. You hate, you hate it because the female, the female cast. Doctor Who is garbage. No, it isn't you, you, you miss, <laughs> you sexist pig. This is what we're, we're fighting on the internet, okay? This is what we're fighting back and forth, okay? Meanwhile, mommy and daddy, your sibling, Uncle Bob, your uncle, your friend, uh, your co-worker, they're all suffering from an illness. And most of all, you are going to start getting sick if you're not sick already. Doctor Who will always be on TV. Star Wars will always be in the movies, but you and your family and your friends will be in the grave. Let that sink in for a while, okay? Let's stop paying attention over there, and let's start paying attention over here, okay? A lot of sick people over here. Over there, they're sick, and they probably don't care. The insurance company is taking care of all their drugs. They're getting free drugs pretty soon. That's the stuff that's getting them sick, and pretty soon that's going to go bye-bye too. Now what are you going to do? Okay, you might as well fill up your body with the 90 nutrients. Please watch the 90-day health recovery video and the 12 deadly foods. Start educating yourself about medical nutrition. Try it for 90 days. It's not going to kill you. If it doesn't work for you, fine. At least you gave it a chance. Okay, you gave your body a chance. You can even curse me out in the comments below. Right on the comments, you want to curse me out because it didn't work? Fine. I may not respond, but if I do, you may not like to respond. Okay? Give it a shot, at least for 90 days. Abstain from the 12, take the 90, and maintain 150. Okay? You can memorize it like that. 12, 90, 150. If you follow the plan, watch what's going to happen. You're not going to believe how you're going to feel. Healing does not happen quickly. You must be patient. Okay? I hope you enjoy this video, but most of all, you learn something, and you're going to put it into action. I'm Andres from the Bronx. Remember, 1290-150. Peace. God bless. Stay healthy. Oh, and by the way, the last Jedi sucked. Stay healthy.